then there's the evidence that higher concentrations of carbon dioxide, which is a plant food after all, are actually greening the planet and helping to lift agricultural yields. In most countries, far more people die in cold snaps than in heat waves, so a gradual lift in global temperatures, especially if it's accompanied by more prosperity and more capacity to adapt to change, might even be beneficial. Now it may be that a tipping point will be reached soon and that the world might start to warm rapidly. But so far, reality has stubbornly refused to conform to the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change's computer modelling. Even the high priests of climate change now seem to concede that there was a pause in warming between the 1990s and 2014. In what might be described as Ridley's paradox, after the distinguished British commentator, at least so far, it's climate change policy that's doing harm. Climate change itself is probably doing good, or at least more good than harm. Looking at the climate record over millions of years, one day it will probably come. But whatever we do today won't stop it. And when it does come, it will have little to do with the carbon dioxide emissions of mankind.